Hey guys, this is Jason Matthew from Trinidad and Tobago and today we're going to be answering the question what are positive and negative numbers? Now on the integers, I'll be doing a, a series of videos and in this first video, I'll just be discussing what are positive and negative numbers. In future videos, we're going to be answering the questions such as what is an integer? What is an absolute value of a number? addition and subtraction of integers, multiplication and division of integers, exponent, and the final video, order of operations. So in today's class, we're going to be using a number line to explain what positive and negative numbers are. We're going to be also applying real life examples to positive and negative numbers. And finally, I'm going to see if you understand what I'm saying by giving you all some questions and seeing how you answer them. So let's get started, guys. The first there is the, it's, it's the start of a number line. And with a number line, you need a reference. So the reference point is 0. And any number that is to the right of 0, in other words, any number that is more than 0, is a positive number. For example, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3. And you can continue. Positive 4, positive 5, and so on. Any number that is on the left of 0, or in other words, less than 0, will be a negative number. And those guys will be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. Your number increases in value as you go to the, to the right and numbers decrease in value as you go to the left. So let's look at this real life example. We're going to be looking at temperature. And there are three of my peeps, Jovan, who's in Trinidad, Mateo from London, and Maya in New York. And in these three different locations, there are three different temperatures. So in Trinidad, Jovan is enjoying a temperature of 33 degrees Celsius. That's on the outside. Matteo in London, temperature of his environment is 3 degrees Celsius. While Maya in New York, it's minus 10 degrees Celsius. So these are, they have some positive numbers there. And you have some negative numbers there. Looking at those values for temperature. Where would you say has the hottest temperature? That's right. If you said that's Jovan in Trinidad, you're absolutely right. Trinidad has the hottest temperature of the three areas there. Now, next question. Where, using the numbers there, where is it the coldest? That's right. Right now in New York, it's very, very cold. Minus 10. Woo, cold. Next real life example, we're looking at money. Now, Sebastian has four dollars, so we can say that Sebastian has positive four. When Sebastian goes to school in the school's cafeteria, there he sees a chocolate that he wants, but that chocolate costs six dollars. So, of course, Sebastian doesn't have the money to buy the chocolate, but he really wants the chocolate. Luckily for him, his cousin Kyra also goes to that school. And Kyra loaned Sebastian $2. So now Sebastian has the money to buy the chocolate. 4 plus 2 equals 6. But what does that mean? It means that Sebastian owes Kyra $2. Or we can say that Sebastian is a negative 2. So let's look at the third and final real life example. And this time we're looking at YouTube. Now you should be familiar with those two symbols there. The thumbs up is for likes and thumbs down dislikes now you would only like a, a video if it had a positive impact on you and you would dislike a video if it had a negative impact on you so for instance if you see a video has 1 million likes you know that a video was some was a video that was very popular so hopefully this video could get a, a, a million likes so don't forget to hit that like button guys all right. Now, converting words to numbers. So, you could take words and either apply it to positive or negative. So, for instance, positive could mean a gain, 
above, rise, up, forward, increases, more. So anytime you see those kind of words, they could trigger that it's, it's a positive number. A negative could be in terms of loss, below, fall, down, backwards, decreases, less. All these words could, re could represent a negative value. So let's do this question here. State a number that describes this situation. 8,848 meters above sea level. Ah, so you're seeing that symbol there. That, that, that means that you should pause the video. Get your pen. You should have your pen and your paper out making your notes. And write down an answer. So I want you to tell me if that number is positive 8,848 or is it negative 8,848 and your answer should be positive 8,848 meters you don't need to write the positive sign that is understood so you can just write a number so anytime you just anytime you just see a number by itself it means that that's a positive number and the reason why I know it's a positive number is that I'm going with the keyword here above so, I, so once you see the word above, we associate that with positive. So we say it is positive 8,848 meters in relation to the sea level. And on a side note, that is actually the peak of Earth's highest mountain called Mount Everest. All right, so review question one. Negative numbers are blank zero. So you have to choose between option A or B and fill in that blank space. So you know that symbol, when that comes up, that means you need to pause the video, take out your, your pen and paper again, and write down an answer. Is it A greater than zero or B less than zero? That's right, guys. Uh, negative numbers are numbers that are less than zero. All right, guys, so let's tackle question two now. Arrange the following numbers from smallest to largest. So you're going to be starting with the smallest number and working your way up to the largest number. So you know what that sign means. You need to take out your pen and paper and do the answer for yourself and pause the video. When you're finished, then you press play and see if you got if you got the answer. So negative 200, you'll start with. That'll be your smallest number. Followed by negative 67. Then negative 2. Positive 8. Positive 54. And finally, your largest number is positive 100. Remember the general rule is this, the greater the negative value, the smaller the number. And the greater the positive value, the larger the number. So the number there with the greatest negative value is negative 200. So out of the three negative numbers there, negative 2, negative 67, negative 200, negative 200 has the greatest negative value. Therefore, it is the smallest number out of the group. And on the other hand, 100, positive 100, has the greatest positive value. So therefore, it is the largest number. All right, question three now. So you got two out of two correct. Let's see if you can get a final one. Which of the following is the hottest temperature? So you have, you have four temperatures there. Figure out which one you think is the hottest temperature. Now, if you said 30 degrees Celsius, you are correct. Because the, the more positive the value, the higher the temperature will be. So therefore, positive 30 degrees Celsius is the highest temperature there of the group. Question four. So I lied. There is one more question. State a number that, that describes each situation. So you're going to go through A, B, and C. And... 
decide whether the number is positive or negative. So again, you know what to do here, guys. All right, so let's see. A weight loss of 20 pounds. So that means that's, that word loss means negative. So negative 20 pounds. 5 degrees Celsius below zero. So it's below. So it is negative 5 degrees Celsius. And a profit of $2,500. So that's positive $2,500. So remember guys, practice makes perfect. Repeat this video until you can answer all the questions. Do the questions you got in school and in your textbook. Please share the more difficult problems you came across either in the comment section of this video post or on the GM Secondary Facebook group. And remember, we are here to help, so please send us your questions. And don't forget guys, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your support.